People have called the Vietnam War the helicopter war largely because the Huey helicopter was a big part of the strategy to fight the war tonight. And the price of freedom, we talked to one Chattanooga man who had an important job on the Huey. So important they sent him over and over again into a combat zone to do that job. He saw a lot of war in the 1960s. This is Jesse Fowler on the left. I've seen, oh Lord, I hate to think about it, but if you go to, if you go to the wall, all the guys in the UTT is on that first panel. UTT, Utility Technical Transport. That's exactly what a Huey is. He worked to keep helicopters in the air in Vietnam. We lost a gunship and they sent in a company of Marines to pull the bodies out and they lost those Marines. He would also go recover helicopters that were shot down. He told the story of his first recovery mission. He and his friend Rick were taking on mortars trying to change an engine on a Huey. We got back off that first mission and we went in the hangar and Rick walked up to Sergeant Bass and he said, when you send me out again, I want him to go with me. And Bass says, why? And he says, because he didn't leave me. You know, you don't, you don't leave a buddy. He first got to Vietnam in 64 before most of the fighting with American service members started. Okay, 64, it was kind of odd. When I first got there at five o'clock on Friday, we had Friday, I mean, Saturday and Sunday off. I said, I asked, I said, what kind of deal is this? And they said, because we don't, we don't fight on the weekend. I said, what? Mr. Fowler says that didn't last very long. It started getting worse and worse and worse. He left the first time in early 65 when the Marines started to arrive. He went back in 66. The difference was is that whole country was loaded with Americans and the more Americans there was more people to get shot at. He played an important role with three year long tours in Vietnam from 64 to 1970 and another tour to Korea before the war was over. I said if they call me today, I'd have to go back. I mean, this is the country I live in, you know, I mean, you got to fight for it. Mr. Fowler says sometimes now he'll be sitting in his house and he will hear a helicopter. I come outside and listen. I come outside and hear those rotor blades. Jesse Fowler served 22 years total in the Army and then the Air Force. In the periods he wasn't in the war, he spent a lot of time teaching and training other soldiers about those helicopters and other aircraft he spent so many years keeping in the air.